Another activity you can do with your isopods is to make a maze. You will need a cereal box. And I cut out just one side of the cereal box. And you'll need some paper, some scissors, and some tape. So to make the maze, I take my box, which is my cereal box, and I take my construction paper and I cut a thin strip all the way across. Then I'm going to fold a little part down, probably only about this much, like so. It ripped. That's okay. It'll still work. All right. Next, I'm going to tape my paper down to create the maze. And let me tell you, um, the isopods don't really like to walk on the slick surface of the tape. So if you will put the tape on the outside of the maze, like I've done here, because they're going to start in here and then turn that way so I have the tape on the outside so they won't step on it. So I'm going to tape down some more and you can make this maze however you want. It doesn't have to be like mine. It can be longer, it can be shorter. All right. Get some more tape. And again, I'm putting the tape so that the isopod will not step on it here as it's going through the maze. So I'm going to turn a corner here. I'm just, I'm just folding my paper in order to do that. And then I'll tape it down. just like this. So let me finish this up and I'll be back and show you what my isopod is going to be searching for. All right, so I finished my maze and now at the end of the maze I want to put something for the isopod to eat. So what do isopods eat? Do you remember where you found your isopods? What was around there? probably something to eat. Or you can go to your compost bin or get a little food scrap from your trash to give to the isopods. So here I have chosen a leaf and a little bit of orange peel. So I found my isopod and I'm going to put it at the front of my maze like this. A little bit hard. Look at him go. So now it's your turn to go out and find isopods and be as creative as you can. Don't forget when you're done with those isopods, be sure and put them back where you found them because that's their habitat and that's where they live and they raise their young. And don't forget to visit us at www.peascommunity.org to fill out the Google form to be entered into a drawing for a prize. Y'all, uh, Stay healthy and please wash your hands and stay six feet away from each other. See you soon.